there we built it. And if you look at the top, that's where they stopped when Biden and Harris came in. That's where they stopped, and that's how they get in. They can't come in here. This was all done to the specifications of the Border Patrol and ICE and everybody else. That's an anti-climb panel on top. It makes it very hard to climb if you didn't have that panel. I was never in love with it architecturally until I saw the fact that nobody could climb over it. Uh, without it, it's a big difference. Is that right, would you it's, say? It's a huge difference. Incredible. We're here today on the southern border in Arizona where Comrade Kamala Harris, she, I call her Comrade because she is a radical left Marxist. She wants open borders. She wants our country. I don't understand why anybody would want it, but she wants our country to be open to the world's criminals. All of that plank and all of that very expensive wall, it's also got tremendous electronic capability inside of it. It's got wires for cameras and everything else that you can have. It's, it's the Rolls Royce of uh, walls, I can tell you. And we have a Marxist that's running, and I don't think you can let her. This country is not ready for a Marxist president. She will never build the wall. She doesn't want to build the wall. She's only saying if she, if she changes her mind, it's only because she wants to get elected, because who wouldn't want to have a strong border? You need strong borders and strong elections, and we have neither. But we're going to have very strong borders, and we're going to have very strong elections soon. We had a border czar who was the border czar. She loved the title, but she didn't want to do the work because she's lazy. And probably more importantly than being lazy, she uh, wants to have an open border. Kamala has called for the abolishing of ICE, the closing of every ICE detention facility, and the releasing of some of the most vicious criminals anywhere in the world by doing so. She supports free health care for illegal immigrants and has promised to give illegals mass amnesty and citizenship, which will obliterate Social Security. Oh, Social Security is going to be obliterated by all of these millions of people that she wants to put on. And also Medicare will be obliterated. I'm going to save Social Security. I'm not going to touch it. We're going to make our country strong but they're going to obliterate it. She also feels extremely strongly about defund the police. She wants to defund the police. And anytime somebody wants to defund the police, you're never going to get them back to being normal. The police have to be taken care of. They're, our, they're the best thing we have going to protect us. They know exactly what's going. When we do deportation, uh, they know every person out there, and they know the middle name, and they know everything about them, and they know the they know all of the bad ones. They know the really bad ones. That would be a great help. We have to get the criminals out of our country immediately. Kamala is always going to have open borders. If Comrade Harris has the chance, she will allow more than 100 million illegal aliens into our country. Our country will be overrun, and essentially it won't be a country. It will be not governable. With us today are leaders of the National Border Patrol. You've known them, you've met them. I don't have to go over, but I want to just thank them for the incredible job they've done. I've worked so well with them. Paul Perez has been unbelievable. Past President Brandon Judd, unbelievable. Sheriff Mark Daniels, who's been incredible. I watched him on television today. He did a great job of explaining this crazy situation that we're in. Sheriff Chris Heiser, so I want to just say, but you're here, and Paul, and Brandon, and Mark, and everybody, I want to thank you so much. It's, uh, it's incredible, the job you do. Such a danger, such a dangerous job. I actually did. I came in, I met one of the Border Patrol who was badly, badly wounded. I said, are you okay? It was a while ago. He said, yes. I said, what happened? Well, my leg is broken, my arm was broken, my back was broken, my neck was broken. My skull was fractured. He went through a list of things. I said, that's unbelievable. When we win this November, we will end the Kamala Harris border nightmare once and for all. We'll get it back very strong. We will also end the inflation, a bad economy, and we will be respected very shortly all over the world again as we were by other countries. The choice is simple. Kamala's mass amnesty of criminals or President Trump's mass deportation of criminals. I think that's pretty easy. 
in addition to all of the other things, there are many other things that are equally as bad, but not as obvious. With your vote, we will seal the border, stop the invasion, and launch the largest deportation effort in American history. We will impose tough new sentences on illegal alien criminals. These include a 10-year mandatory minimum sentence for anyone guilty of human smuggling, a guaranteed life sentence for anyone guilty of child trafficking, and a death penalty for anyone guilty of child or woman sex trafficking. We'll also impose the death penalty on major drug dealers and traffickers in other countries on their immigration papers. There is a statement that says, death for drug traffickers. Big letters, big bold letters. Ten times the size of everything else on the page. I saw it this morning. And those are the countries where they have no problem with drugs. Many of them, actually. We will also impose the death penalty for anyone killing our police, sheriffs, Border Patrol, ICE, or law enforcement officials. The death penalty with a quicker trial, not a trial that lasts for 15 years and everybody gets exhausted. We will liberate our country from the illegal alien drug dealers, robbers, murderers, gang members, and child predators. And we will make America safe again for our citizens and make it greater, stronger, better, more beautiful than ever before. Support from your policies. Today there was a manhunt going on in this county. Somebody made death threats to you. Did you hear about that before coming? No. And what are your thoughts coming down here? Some people told me it's dangerous for you to be here. I've heard it's dangerous, but I also have a job to do. Uh, I've heard it's very dangerous. I haven't heard about that. They probably want to keep it from me. Thank you for telling me. Let's get out of here right now. No, thank you very much for saying it. But no, uh, and I have great respect for Secret Service, the job they do, including a month and a half ago when they were jumping on top of me with bullets flying right at them. So uh, mistakes were made, and they're going to learn from the mistakes. But uh, I have great respect. But no, I haven't heard that, uh, but I'm not that surprised. And the reason is because I want to do things that are very bad for the bad guys. So, I have heard it's very unsafe to make this trip. There were some people that really didn't want me to make it.